Arizona pastor Steven Anderson is a guy we've discussed on the show before. He's legitimately one of the dumbest pastors in America, and today we're going to listen to him tell women that they're whores. Because the teaching behind birth control is that it frees women of the bondage of, you know, being strapped to the house with all these children. And in reality, there, there is some truth to the fact that having a bunch of children does tie a woman to her husband. But that's a good thing. This is where women have derived their identity throughout history. This is an important part of being a woman, being a mother. But yet today, because of birth control, because we've basically given women the power, we've empowered them to decide, hey, I don't want to have children, or I want to wait a long time to have children, and so forth. This becomes a part of their life that goes on the back burner. And it creates a mentality that says, my primary role is not to get married, bear children, and guide the house, as 1 Timothy chapter 5 teaches. But rather, my main goal is my career. You know, my main goal is to go to college and to graduate from college. And I'm going to be a lawyer and I'm going to be a doctor and I'm going to be a marine biologist. That's my main thing. And, you know, when I'm ready, I guess I'll also have a husband too while I'm at it. You know, my main thing is to be a politician. You know, my main thing is to run a business. My main thing is my career. But I guess I'll add a husband into the mix. And I guess if I want, I'll schedule a few children, maybe one, two. Look, this is not the way that the Bible looks at this. And this is not the way that we look at this, should look at this. But, but it's the way the world looks at it now because of birth control. Because it used to be, you know, a young woman, she gets married, she has children, and that's her, that's her job. I mean, that's how she's going to live her life. That's right, boys. I'm on the pill. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. I'm a whore. I'm on the pill. Come fornicate with me. Okay, look, this is what birth control does to our society. So not only does it affect women, not only does it affect the mother, it corrupts her view of childbearing, it corrupts her character, it corrupts her blood plasma, it corrupts her health. This is what it does to our society. It promotes promiscuity. It promotes whoredom. Ha! Whoredom. It promotes whoredom. Ladies, have you ever in your life pleasure fucked? Oh, you must be a terrible, dirty, dirty whore. Look at how ridiculous this clown is, man. It's, it's like he's stuck in the third century. He's got that old school mindset that makes 1850 like look like it's positively modern. You know, that whole speech got me so infuriated because what he's saying is women know your role. Okay? Know your role. I mean, he says women should get their identities from being a mother. Now, look, I have no problem with a woman if she chooses to do that. And who knows, maybe a majority of women will choose to do that. I don't know. I don't care. But whatever they want to do is fine with me. And that's why the progressive position is flat out superior. And that's why progressives are winning the battle on social issues. Because what's our position? Our position is, look, do whatever makes you happy. <laughs> We're not going to judge you. We honestly don't even care. Whatever you want to do is fine. Society's going to accommodate, give you the equal opportunity, and you choose for yourself. What he's saying is, no, I only want you to get your identity from being a mother, and if you deviate from that, something is wrong with you. Something's wrong with you. You have a defect. You're not right. You should feel bad about that. I mean, he's mocking women that want to be lawyers and doctors and politicians and business people. You should be begging for women to do those things, because if guys are have the same intelligence level as you do, we're in a hell of a lot of trouble. I wouldn't want to go to a doctor that has your IQ level, that's for damn sure. But I mean, he's saying that, look, the Bible doesn't want women to be free, so I'm going to now try to impose that on women and say, I don't want you to be free either, and we should make that law, and we should force people into doing that. That should be the social norm. How gross is that? How gross is that? 
just this one mold, there's nothing that pisses me off more than taking one mold of how you personally think shit should be and putting it on everybody else. You know, I think X, Y, and Z, therefore I'm going to impose it on you and you and you. Even though you may disagree with me, I don't give a shit. I'm going to force my beliefs on you because I'm an idiot, because I'm myopic, because I'm egocentric, because I'm ethnocentric. I don't care about your opinions. I'm a narcissist. So what I want to do is force my beliefs on you and shut the fuck up if you disagree. I don't care. And who wants a guy like that running shit? Oh, what a terrible situation we would be in. So look, my point is get the fuck out of our private lives. And ironically, these this is a guy who would consider himself a conservative Republican. You know, small government. We like small government and self-reliance. Really, that's funny because you were just lecturing and telling people exactly how they should live their private lives. That's the biggest government I can imagine. You're trying to dictate to people how they should live their lives. Why? So that's the opposite of believing in small government and believing in freedom. Whatever happened to freedom? Whatever happened to, look, do whatever you want to do as long as you're not hurting anybody else. Women, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a lawyer, you want to, I don't care, be a mother. I, I don't care, do whatever you want to do. And the idea that oh, birth control makes you a whore. Well, first of all, birth control isn't just used for uh, having sex and trying not to get pregnant. There's also a lot of medical uses for birth control. For example, when women have uh, an issue with cysts on their ovaries, which can be very painful, what's the cure? Taking birth control. Okay? And it's not just that, there's other things too. But even if women do use it, and when they do use it to have sex and uh, do it for pleasure, it's none of your fucking business. And you can't just judge, oh, you're a whore, you're doing this, you're doing that. Really? So let's say, say uh, a girl who starts taking birth control at the age of 18 or 19 and she has a steady boyfriend and she's taking birth control so they can have sex. And then let's say she ends up marrying that boyfriend. Only had sex with one person her entire life. You're still going to say that's a whore because she took birth control, because she didn't want to get pregnant at such a young age, because she wanted to make sure, because she had premarital sex. So that's all you do. That's all these Christians do. Judge, 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 judge. I'm going to judge, 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 judge. Which is so ironic, because again, if there's anything that, uh, you know, Jesus' message said, it's, let's, let's calm down a little bit here, guys. Let's care deeply about the poor, care deeply about the downtrodden, look out for everybody. If you're rich, sell your shit and come follow me. You know, let's not get into any conflicts. If somebody hits you, turn the other cheek and say, hit that one too, big guy. We're pacifists here. But what does he do? The opposite. He's a curmudgeon. I'm going to tell you how to live your life. Do this, do that. Get the fuck out of our lives.